Hi, my name is Dr. Rajesh Gupta. I am a senior consultant and gastroenterologist and hepatologist with the Asian Institute of Gastroenterology. So, uh, as uh, this non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is a very common problem in our society and it is emerging as a major cause of liver disease not only in the western world but in our part of the country and in fact it is going to be a major cause of liver disease in our country in next 20 years if we don't pay much attention to this problem it appears to be very simple but it is not so simple it's a part of multi-system disease where we see all around lot of diabetes obesity and in conjunction with these disease this disease is also affecting our people both young and elderly people it is commonly happens in seen in uh, happens in seen in uh, obese people but it is not limited to it is not limited to only obese people it can happen in thin people it can happen all around us unknowingly when we go for routine clinical examination or just for general health checkup and we are simply not aware that this is existing sometime if we have advanced liver disease but we are not aware of it because it is the patient doesn't have or the person does who is suffering from it doesn't have any specific symptom and this disease is a very unique feature it doesn't have any specific features until unless it shows advanced features of liver failure or advanced uh, features of chronic liver disease so that uh, goes undetected in the society so it is very very important when we have any of these kind of problems or when we go for routine medical checkup we specifically focus on non-alcoholic fatty liver disease as well especially in those people those who are obese who are diabetics who had history of cardiovascular diseases because they may remain undetected because it's a part of the same spectrum so that's how we should start and this screening should start from the childhood itself in the schools we can introduce these kind of program in school health programs also where the children can be made aware of the this about this disease as we have run campaigns about hepatitis b hepatitis c and safe blood transfusions similar lines we should talk about healthy lifestyle because this is one factor which keeps uh, which uh, takes us a long way in preventing this disease and uh, everybody not i'm not trying to alarm everybody but it is relatively benign in majority of the patient to begin with but in a small subset of patient it can lead to very serious liver disease in future so when to intervene what drugs we have to use that is a matter of like for experts to decide but for a common person in the society in children we should start this awareness program through our lecture series through posters through uh, television programs and it like just so as to create awareness about this disease and this is the high time that we start focusing about this menace which is going to affect our society in future thank you very much